All right, guys, we are bundled up and in the quail shed, and I want to show you what we have done to make the cold not be as bad for winter here in Utah, okay? So we've tried several different water systems, all of which don't work super great, because ultimately, if you have a little plastic lines to, or even the big plastic tubes, it is going to get cold enough in a lot of places that unless you have an insulated shed, and we do have the insulated roof on the top, um, but the rest is hardware cloth, kind of like an aviary, and we just put plastic on it. So it's not super well insulated, okay? And it doesn't need to be. The birds don't need that heat. But the issue with that is when it gets cold enough in winter, everything you have will freeze. Yes, you. Can. the biggest thing people tell me is, oh, why don't you put a heater in the bucket? Like, okay, guys, listen. I can heat the water in these five-gallon buckets, or this one can't yeah, have a five-gallon bucket, so it just is a tote. But I can heat that water all I want. But the reality is, okay, common sense here, so don't tell me because I'm a woman and I don't know how to do it. Listen, <laughs> common sense will tell you, you can keep the water in a bucket from freezing. That ain't the issue, bro. The water in the tubing will freeze, especially if it's not being flushed enough. So that got me to thinking, what if with the water cups that I love, which by the way, they're these little, I think they're called pigeon cups. Honestly, if you look them up on Amazon, they're my favorite because they don't hold a lot of water. So if you were to turn off the water, the birds will drink all the water that's in the lines. This is, this is where it's gonna get good and where it's gonna get important, okay? So the birds will drink with the water in the lines and the cups will be empty and the lines will be empty, okay? So here's what I've started doing. At night time, let me turn this around so you can see. At night time, I come out here. At like, their lights go to like 10. So at like eight or nine, I come out here flip off the switches come over here like i said this one's a tote because it can't go very tall flip off the switch there are water in the cup still but what will happen is the birds will eat and drink for the next few hours until their lights go off and they go to bed and they will drink all the water out of the lines there is nothing in here to freeze now and mostly up here it will not freeze because there's enough water but then here's what I do next. This is important too. What I do next, and I am super proud of this. So if you have another way that works great, good for you. But I'm super proud of this because it doesn't involve my husband having to do a bunch of engineering stuff. What I do then is the next morning, because the birds, the lights turn off, the birds go to sleep, they're not drinking water anyway, okay? So they're not, it's fine if they don't have water for a few hours, it really is. Because the next morning, when I get up in the morning, the first thing I do, is I fill up gallon jugs of hot water, as hot as I can get it from the faucet. And then I come outside and pour that hot water into these buckets and turn the water on. So a mixture of what was in there and hot water flushes the lines, immediately fills up the cups, and then nothing is frozen. It didn't have time for the water to sit stagnant in the lines. Nothing got frozen. So in the last week, the only time this has not worked is when it got down to like below 20, okay? And there are places where it's gonna get that cold. And the reality is you're probably gonna have to do something totally different. If you have power to your shed and you have insulation on a constant basis, you can just do so much more. We have one power cord we run to our shed and I only use it on their little Christmas lights. If I need to, and if this, if it, we have a rough enough winter like we had last year, I may get one of those heated things because I don't have enough lines of water. Like I don't have miles and miles of tubing. I can probably just run it along the lines and kind of as an extra precaution, if I need it, it'll help. But I don't like to run heaters and things because I just don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk a fire hazard or anything. So I run little Christmas lights and that's it. <laughs> So, but this has worked really well for me. Um, I will show you a couple other things we've tried and I don't love, okay? Now, 
This is my personal opinion and everybody has something that works different from them. But we did try an initially PVC pipe and these little peck waters. They were okay, but it took the birds a little bit of time to get used to it. And I felt like I was constantly always filling it all the way because they liked when it's hot enough to be able to dip their whole face in it and just go crazy. So I didn't love these, okay? We have tried these that hook up to like 32 or 24 ounce water like soda bottles and you just fill them up with water and you put them on the side of the cage, kind of like a rabbit water bottle. Um, but the what the height in which our cages are didn't work very well either. Then we went to these, now the birds are gonna get all up in there. Then we went to these cup waters. Why I don't like them. I don't like the cup waterers is I feel like after a few weeks, one of the lines always gets clogged and I think it's getting clogged in the little spout thing. It seems like it gets so much debris and crap in there, they clog really fast and then you have to replace the whole thing. Just my experience. But also with the turning the water on and off, it does not work as good because those cups hold so much more water than the pigeon water cups. So if the birds do not drink all the water there and all the water that's in that little bit of line before you get to the bucket, then my thing about turning it on and off is really not gonna work. Um, it's also a lot harder to thaw and a lot more water to thaw if you have to take the heat gun to it. If you haven't seen that video, watch that video. Um, because at the very least, it's super fun to play with the heat gun. <laughs> I loved it, um, but it definitely works. And I know Matt from Grafter Branch Homestead, follow that channel if you're not already, but he tried that with his actual garden hose to water the birds and it worked really well for him too. And I, that was a totally different type of hosing, but worked perfect. So anyways, these are some tips that, and a system that I've kind of come up with in my mind. And no, I'm not an engineer, obviously. And I ghetto hillbilly rig, a lot of stuff. But this is something that worked for me and it might work for you, especially if you're not like super technical and you don't want to deal with all this stuff. Setting up the tubing for these and like turning water on and off so easy and then if you need to you can like let it melt or you can hand water them for a few days if it gets cold enough like there's a couple cages that just have those little I don't know how big they are those little waters like chick waterers and we give each cage that if we absolutely need to but this has saved me a lot of time because for the most part the lines are not freezing and that has been my biggest pain in the butt the last three years raising quail is taking the time to have to go outside and constantly change those waters because they eat a lot to stay warm and that also means they drink a lot and so they constantly need that food and water or you're gonna have problems right everybody gets cranky when they're dehydrated and hungry so hopefully this helps you guys let me know in the comments um, what you've done if you're in a wintry area and what has helps you get through taking care of the critters. I know many of you have bigger animals, so if you have like five gallon buckets that they're actually drinking out of like the straight, it's super easy to keep those from freezing. But when you have smaller critters like this, it's a little bit more tricky. It can be a lot more tricky, but this is just what I'm trying this winter. And so far it saved me so much time. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing day.